Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows cannot verify the digital signature and you're coming across error code 52. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the start menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now you're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Now locate current control set and double click on that. Locate the control folder under here. Double click on that one as well. And then there should be a class folder. Double click on it. Now we're going to expand this column here. And you want to locate something that has the curvy bracket and then it has 36F. So that's what it starts with right after the lettering here. So 36F, you see it's not too far from the top here. So 36FC9E60 and then it should end with 40000. Now on the right side, if you see something that says upper filters, you want to right click on it and delete. Again, upper filters, you just go ahead and delete that. And then once you're done with that, you go ahead and close out of here. And you would restart your computer, and then hopefully your problem should have been resolved. So something else you can try here too, a couple of things. If we open up the start menu, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now I'm going to have a couple commands, or I should say a few commands in the description of my video, guys. I want you guys to copy each one one at a time. First one's going to be an SFC scan. So copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste in this first command. Give it a couple minutes to run here and just please be patient. Okay, so once that one is done, go ahead and copy the second command. I'll have a couple commands, like I said, in the description of the video here, guys. So once you ran that second one, I accidentally ran it twice here. You're going to go run the third one here. So just paste that one in. And then once that is done, close out of here. Open up the start menu, select the power icon, and then hold down the shift key on your keyboard. So hold down the shift key and then select restart. Again, you're holding down the shift key right now. And then once you get to this screen, it's going to be a blue screen here. Then you don't have to hold it down anymore. Once you come to this screen, actually, you don't have to keep the pressure applied to the shift key. And you're going to go ahead and select Troubleshoot, select Advanced Options, and then select where it says Startup Settings. Select the Restart button. 
You're going to tap the F7 key, so it's just disable driver signature enforcement. Tap F7. Again, it's one of the function keys on the top of your keyboard, so tap F7. And then just give it a moment here to start back in the Windows. And hopefully I should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.